when you walk into a Catholic school, there's a sense of community, there's a sense of family, there's a sense of tradition, particularly in a school like ours. What's fascinating about the school is that we continue to be, obviously, a proud Catholic school, but also very open to students who aren't Catholic. Pupils are not distant from the, the teachers, that we're all working together, and we're all working for the same aim, which is to get the best students that we can get through the school with the best results and a high, both academic and personal profile. There are so many strategies in place that allow you to like, really get to your full potential. Even the smallest thing, there's always someone there to help you through your academic studies. And there's revision sessions and some teachers stay after school for you. So they really do want you to do the best that you can. We also have a very strong sense of who we are, what we represent and the ethos of the school, the Catholicity of the school, together with the academic support, the pastoral support, all come together. One of the things the college is particularly good at is the individual education. We are not so big that a student is just a number or just a name on a list, that we do actually know them, that we can actually walk around the college, we can see them, we can talk to them about their individual interests. We offer a, a very rounded education which allows people to develop in their own ways more than perhaps some schools do. What we aim for is excellence. And what we don't want is excellence at the expense of those all-round, fundamentally human qualities that parents want to look for in their children. I think that's one of the, the things that sort of sets us apart and is the idea that education isn't just academic. Uh, I think you need to develop in other aspects of sport, uh, the drama, the arts, the music. I think that becomes very key to help you develop as a person. It's life experience as well, I think is key to learning. Every day, we're really fortunate at St Edmunds that we have an hour dedicated to activities from 3.30 till 4.30, and every member of the college is involved with that. On one of those days, they're involved in a games lesson, and then for the other four, they have the opportunity to choose from over 90 activities that the school offers. So that can be anything from kind of extracurricular sport, like your extra rounders practice, football, rugby, right the way through to things like Warhammer, stamp collecting, we've got Rocket Club, we've got Science Club, we've got debating, and we then have a wide range of music and drama activities. Has the alarm hasn't gone off? We have an AstroTurf pitch, which is great for the hockey. We have netball courts, hard court netball courts, which also turn into tennis courts. We have several grass pitches for football, for rugby. We have an indoor swimming pool, which is fantastic. We're really lucky we've got the space here, and it's very much, we're a school out in the countryside. Our bus service will pick students up from North London, from Cambridge, from out into Essex, from over into Wellin, and Garden City, St Albans area. We have kind of three types of boarding. Flexi boarding, you can board from anything from one night to kind of three, four nights a week. Weekly boarding, kind of coming in either on a Sunday night or Monday morning through to Friday evening. And then full boarding, obviously here throughout the term. If there are great bonds within boarding amongst them, I mean, there are a large number of different nationalities here as well. And again, we look to integrate them as fully as possible as we can into our community. And I suppose, you know, community is the key word for the college full stop. The sixth form, you are much, much more of an adult. Everything is, you know, your own decision. So you're much, much more independent, but then they keep that same level of support up. So you really kind of embrace who you are as a person but still keeping your academics up as well. I certainly think from the aspect of being kept informed at what's going on is great. You really do know what's happening in your child's life, at school life, which is important. I've had so many opportunities here that I wouldn't have anywhere else. I mean, I've been to India and I've flown my own plane, you know, I've done things like that. So I think I'm much more level-headed and much more humble. You get on with everyone and you just have a great time and it just feels like a big home.